Its success is based on its remarkable social structure with complex communication systems. Each colony revolves around the queen and king, which live with several generations of offspring in a social system not unlike that of their main enemy, the ant. The term white ants, often given to termites, is a complete misnomer. The two groups are not related at all. Termite defense against an ant attack is often futile. The two termite parents are at the heart of each nest, and as the colony matures, the queen's abdomen swells as her egg-laying capacity increases. By contrast, the smaller king remains much the same throughout its life. Both parents are totally dependent on their offspring for food, care and protection. Hidden deep in the nest, the cosseted queen does little but lay eggs. In some species, several thousand a day. As she can live for around 25 years, the threat from even a single colony is very obvious. The cylindrical eggs with their rounded ends are usually laid singly and are quickly removed to egg clusters protected in special nursery chambers within the nest. Here they are constantly inspected and groomed during the three or four weeks it takes them to develop. As termite colonies operate with a highly efficient division of labor, the pale, feeble, newly hatched larvae can develop through a series of moats into one of three distinct castes. Two of them are effectively sterile, the workers and the soldiers. The third is capable of reproduction. Worker termites equipped with strong biting jaws are by far the most numerous. Their responsibility is to look after the colony. They do all the food gathering, the job which brings them into conflict with man. They do the nest building, and they keep the nest clean, which includes eating the dead. And they care for the parents, the eggs, and larvae, and the other dependent castes, such as the soldiers. The soldiers, easily recognized by their highly modified heads, are the defenders of the colony. In many species, they have strongly developed, often elongated jaws for piercing or slashing at opponents. Others rely on chemicals discharged from the head to repel or immobilize an attacker. It's from the characteristics of the soldier's head that the different species can be identified. Worker termites, far more abundant, are often too similar to distinguish species. At certain times of the year, young termites with small wing pads appear in the nest. These so-called nymphs become winged reproductives. When conditions are right, they swarm from the nest to disperse and establish new colonies. Swarming is quite conspicuous in daylight or at night when lights attract the flying insects. On landing, these termites shed their wings with a quick twist and the female attracts a mate with her scent lure. With the female leading, those couples which escape the numerous predators scuttle quickly for cover to find a suitable site to nest. In a matter of months, the young couple establish a new colony and within four or five years, given favorable conditions, the next swarm of fertile termites is ready to repeat the cycle. In some species, the colony is doomed when the original queen dies. But in some of the pest species, a new fertile queen can develop from one of the immature females and ensure the almost indefinite survival of the colony. An essential element in the complex community is communication between individuals. Living as they do in total darkness, they rely almost entirely on touch and chemical stimuli to pass messages. Within the active nest, intimate body contact is inevitable, and sudden jerking movements are used to sound an alarm or signal excitement.
chemical communication is important in almost every aspect of colony life. Here, the anal fluid produced by the queen is eagerly sought by the nurse workers. This fluid is thought to regulate the numbers in each cast in the colony. Termites constantly groom each other and recognize members of their own community by their odor. Food exchange, too, serves to pass on these chemical messages, which are now known to influence food gathering, nest building, and defense behavior. <laughs>